Halloween is cancelled in China. So the Chinese government is just arresting people in Halloween costumes arbitrarily. I mean, they even went to the store's mascot because they thought it was someone in costume. <laughs> Silly buggers. Well, before we continue, let's lighten the mood with a data broker rap. Deep within the corporate offices of a data broker, something is happening behind closed doors. Again, your phone is ringing. Your mailbox full of junk. It's us who make that happen. We're annoying as f Annoying and frustrating. That's simply how we roll. You cannot escape us. We're data broken bros. When you browse the internet, when you click on accept a cookie, when you sign up for some or other service in a shop, your data gets sold to data brokers and data brokers then sell it to other people. But there is a way to get your name and personal information removed off of these lists and that is Incogni. You see, they do the fancy footwork and all the hard work for you. There are thousands of data brokers out there. And for you to go after each one and legally request for your name to be removed would be incredibly time consuming and costly. But Incogni does it for you. You give them permission and then they will, on your behalf, send legal letters to all of these different data brokers to get your personal data removed. If you're tired of junk mail and you want to get rid of all these targeted adverts and take your privacy back, go to incogni.com forward slash Winston and use the code Winston to get 60% off. Protect your privacy today. Go to incogni.com slash Winston and use the code Winston to take your personal data off the market. And now back to the show. First off, Halloween isn't something that's widely celebrated in China. You'll only find people dressing up and doing the Halloween party thing in the big cities. Imagine that the only places people celebrated Halloween were New York, LA, Seattle, and Austin but the rest of the country didn't even know or care about what Halloween was. That's what it's like in China. This footage you're seeing is exclusively coming out of Shanghai. The central government has always had a long-running dislike slash hatred for Shanghai because just like Texas, it's kind of its own country within a country, or at least it wants to be. So let's talk about why the Chinese government is publicly arresting people for wearing Halloween costumes. It's because this man hates Western influence and he hates public gatherings. In fact, him and his entire government are afraid of organized public gatherings, especially if Western influence is involved. Last year in Shanghai, remember China's most international, sophisticated and cosmopolitan city, People used Halloween as an opportunity to poke fun at the overbearing government, wearing costumes that highlighted some of the realities of living in China. Censored internet posts, surveillance cameras, COVID tests, and the like. This was just unacceptable to the Chinese central government, who cannot accept even an ounce of criticism. You are not free to criticize any aspect of Chinese society online. And unless you're a British travel vlogger traveling the country on the Communist Party's dime, telling the world there's no genocide in Xinjiang and that Chinese subway systems are better than New York, you're in trouble. Back to this man. He has removed Western textbooks, prevented any sort of Western materials from entering schools, told schools they're not allowed to celebrate Western holidays anymore, and replaced everything, not with Chinese textbooks, but with his own Xi Jinping thought books and lessons on how to worship him and the Communist Party. It's all pretty sad and petty. China has a rich and beautiful culture, but with this guy pushing his personality cult and erasing everything else, China now has a culture that's inferior to the yogurt you buy in Walmart. 
So what about Halloween being cancelled? As always, the Chinese government just fumbles along, not really knowing how to do things properly. There were no official notices put out, but when Halloween celebrations kicked off in Shanghai, hordes of police were dispatched, and they started randomly arresting people in costumes and taking them to the police station where reportedly they were told to remove their makeup and costumes. As things heated up, partygoers were herded into Zhongshan Park, where they were left unmolested to celebrate until around 10 p.m. After which, they were told they had to remove their costumes as they left. So in other words, when you leave the park to go take public transport and go home, you're not allowed to be wearing your fancy costumes anymore, at least not your headgear and makeup. Now, unfortunately, the same park where people found refuge has said that it will be closed to Halloween celebrations. So in other words, no luck, can't even go celebrate in a park anymore. Obviously, the government doesn't want this park or others to become a flashpoint for Halloween gatherings. People discussing what's been happening online are now being censored. And posts about the Halloween arrests and the parks closing and costumes not being allowed into venues on Halloween night are being censored and banned by the Chinese government internet censors. Sure, bars and clubs in the big cities will have Halloween parties. Some training centers and kindergartens will have Halloween themes to keep the kids entertained. Although, I've been told by some of my ex-colleagues and friends still working as teachers in China that their schools have not been allowed to put up Halloween decorations this year or last year, for that matter. But this goes to show China is not free. The Chinese government is allergic to fun. But here's the thing. The Chinese government is currently between a rock and a hard place, as they desperately want to erase Western-linked celebrations, but are trying really hard not to scare away all the stock bros and investors from propping up their failing economy. And so don't want the bad optics, because these are really bad optics. Why would anyone want to invest in a country that arrests young people for wearing a Spider-Man costume on Halloween? Seriously, it's a Halloween celebration for crying out loud. These are not some upstart, annoying foreigners making a nuisance out of themselves. These are young Chinese citizens just out to have a fun evening that are being arrested by their own oppressive government. Remember, that you too can be arrested in China for wearing a Halloween costume in public during a Halloween celebration. Let that sink in for a minute. Unlike this silly little man and his insecure government, stay awesome.